Two-state solution. Two-state solution. Two-state solution. Only two-state solution. Solution. Two-state solution. Cut! Hello, my name is Ezri Tubi from Boomerang, and today with Making It Simple, we want to talk about the very romantic but unrealistic two-state solution. Come in. Yes, well, we gotta admit, it does. The two-state solution really sounds romantic. Uh, not that romantic. But, you know, I really want to understand. When people say two states for two people, what do they mean? Like one for us and one for them? But does that correlate with reality? Is there any kind of justice here? Well, let's find out. Map, please. This area was promised to the Jews exactly a hundred years ago by the British government. A few years later, the entire League of Nations laid down the Jewish legal rights in Palestine, unanimously declaring, Whereas recognition has been given to the historical connection of the Jewish people with Palestine and for the grounds for reconstructing their national home in that country. Reconstructing! Yes! After 2,000 years of exile, we're back. The Jews finally have a small piece of land to call home. Now that's justice. Except that a few years later, the British government cut off the entire east bank of the Jordan River right here, giving more than two thirds of our home to a new Arab country known today as Jordan. As of today, 80% of Jordan's population is Palestinian, which actually makes it sort of a Palestinian state. However, as we say in Israel, with the eating came the appetite. Many years after, in 2005, Israel demolished every kind of Jewish presence in Gaza, making it almost two Palestinian states free of Jews against one. But the show isn't over till the fat lady sings. <laughs> Some moral narcissists solution think we should give the Palestinians a third state in our ancestral land of Judea and Samaria. Again, after the ethnic cleansing of half a million Jews, making it three Palestinian states against one. But how one-ish is this one Jewish state? Second of all, even if we are talking about two states, none one of them can be a Jewish state. Well, 20%, one and a half million of Israeli citizens are Arabs who consider themselves not Israelis, but Palestinians. Well, that's what their leaders say out loud. And unfortunately, as of today, Israeli Arabs deny Israel as a Jewish state and play a key role in destabilizing Israel's international legitimacy. Add to this a concoction regional press from alienated countries and terror groups and whoa! You gotta be out of your mind to think there's anything immoral in the two-state solution. So making it simple is understanding once and for all that those who talk about the two-state solution actually mean three and a half Palestinian states clear of any sign of Jews on more than 80% of the land that was initially promised to us, while the 20% left for the Jewish state will, according to the radical Israeli leftists, become a multicultural state with no significant Jewish identity. From this to this. And you know what? They even call it justice.